Good morning. I thought I'd just climb up here to share this uh, sunrise with you guys. Um, whew, Liz is in the van still. I just figured this might be pretty epic. Welcome to the Adventure Closet. I'm Liz and this is Charlie. We are two 80s and 90s kids that never lost their sense of wonder. We're all over the map, exploring wild and abandoned places, discovering rocks, geology, and history of different areas, all while living and traveling in our minivan Opal. I guess you can say our life is a mixtape of adventures. So hop in the van, hit the subscribe button, and let's go somewhere. found out last night that uh, this is locomotive rock and if you look at it from where the van is it kind of does look like a locomotive pretty cool and that copper mine is all lit up uh, there was you could hear a little light murmur of trucks and stuff in the distance uh, working there and you can hear that somebody is up at 7 in the morning shooting recreationally on a Monday quite weird somewhere off that way hopefully he's not shooting at me Kind of interesting that uh, there's only like, uh, where are they? There's only like one, two organ pipe cactuses, maybe three or four on this side. But if you pan over to this side of the hill, it's, it's just lined with them. Kind of crazy. It's not that cold out here. Last night was pretty nice. Nice peaceful night. The moon was so bright. Let's see if we can catch that moment where it just peaks over the top. It's a magic moment right there. I got back down and Liz had breakfast all cut up and ready. Um, so I just had to cook and she had coffee made too. Uh, so we've been liking this recently this uh, in the mornings. It's uh, cut up potatoes, jalapeno, um, some tofu, and I, I put sage, salt, pepper, and, and garlic in it and uh, we put it in tortilla because everything goes in a tortilla.
when you're living in a van. Down by the river. I just realized we're out of tortillas. We need to go to the store. Oh man. I mean I gotta eat this without a tortilla? Florida, Washington. Georgia. <laughs> We're still playing the license plate game. <laughs> <laughs> gotta find that Rhode Island. Well, we <laughs> Uh, went into the town of Ajo, Arizona, which um, I was assuming that Ajo was a Spanish name, but it's actually a Native American name, um, it meaning desert people. And uh, the town of Ajo was really cool. There was that artist alley that we went and saw. We stopped at the library and got a lot of work done there, a great library. And then um, we went to this art gallery and the gal told us that the town of Ajo is on a bed of copper and the people that own houses there actually just own the top layer of dirt because the state has cl uh, claims on those resources of all the copper. I don't know if it's the state or it's this company with a giant pile of... Yeah, that's a huge copper mine right there. Did she say it was the state? Uh, I thought it was the state, she said. I would assume. Oh, I didn't know. Owning the that land time. under houses. And then we went to the grocery store, picked up a few things for dinner tonight, and now we're headed back to the same place that we camped last night. Um, looks like we're getting another beautiful sunset. So yeah. we'll see you guys later. Uh, and dinner tonight is uh, like chips and salsa, basically. <laughs> yeah. We're, uh, um, well, we'll probably show them. Oh. I don't know. Well, uh, no, I'll just tell you guys because it's going to be dark and yeah. yeah. But um, yeah, so we ha already had chips. We st they had like the small grocery store with very few options. So um, we're going to make a dip with refried beans and some veggies and some black olives and maybe some onion and we got some salsa and Charlie got some hot sauce <laughs> and uh, yeah, so we're basically going to do like a nacho dip night tonight um and hopefully they can hear you through all this rattling yeah <laughs> it's pretty noisy on this road but um we're gonna have dinner and call it a night maybe watch some youtube and we'll see you guys on the next one <laughs> what is he doing out there <laughs> I'm just sitting in the van, like, playing on my phone, and I look outside, and there's this guy. <laughs> it is a full moon, as you can see. <laughs>we have this plug kit I've actually surprisingly never done one of these before but it looks pretty straightforward hey take the reamer into the hole we immediately when he got the air compressor the air compressor going um, could find the hole it's pretty gnarly um, so hopefully this plug kit is big enough
put it in the hole. Is that better? And then you shove it down in there. And then you pull straight up. Like that. And then let that sit for a little bit. And then add more air. Add more air and see if it leaks. You also want to trim these off too. Well, we're on the road. It's somewhat fixed, but there is a tire repair shop five minutes away. Um, we might have to stop a couple times in yeah. this five minutes. <laughs> the hole is just really big, but that plug is definitely helping. Those two plugs. Yeah, he had to add two of them, so. Uh, sure, I think. The light come on? Well, no, the light's actually off. Okay, all right, well. But I feel like it. I don't know, hopefully that's just my subconscious. <laughs> Hope so too. Oh. And what's this? That's a lot of cars for pulling over one dude. In 1,000 feet, your destination will be on the right. Is on the right. And arrived. Okay. Not on the rim. Felt like it was. Well, apparently, even though the sign's right there, this is not the right place. We have to go a couple blocks down, but. The, well, they're tire there. and maintenance, but they don't do repair, flat repair. <laughs> uh, where are we going then? Two blocks down, I guess. Well, that place was weird and... Obviously not open. Yeah. Uh, so we're headed back this direction to hopefully find something else. Um, we'll get this figured out, I'm sure. You know, it's never fun getting a flat tire, but like... We were on our way to get showers and we really, really needed showers and we're looking forward to it. So, yeah, but there's gotta be some place in this town that, I don't know. Anybody? Hello? People? Do you have a spare tire? Multi-service tire shop. Well, heck, yeah. Well, we <laughs> we pulled up to the tire shop and the guy stopped us. He's like, no, 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 stay away. I'm closed. I'm closed. He has COVID. So I definitely appreciate him not allowing us to come into his shop. Uh, but it really puts us in a pickle. He's... Um, he suggested Napa Auto Parts. I don't, there's not really anything out of Napa that can help us besides buying more plugs, which we already put a plug in the tire. So I don't know, maybe this is a, it's a smaller town. So maybe there's, this Napa does more things. I mean, we come from a small town, so like stores do multiple things in small towns. So we're gonna kind of give it a go and see. <laughs> find the Napa. Destination is on the right. So the sign says it's RV supplies and repair, so we might get lucky here. So uh, we have to wait until 2 o'clock or drive 45 miles that way. Um, I'd rather just wait till 2 o'clock. And uh, so we looked up where we can get showers done and. Right there at Belly Acres RV Park. 
<laughs> oh, I didn't even see that. <laughs> we don't even have to move the car if we don't want. No, we don't, but we probably should. Okay. Glad to be showered. I'm literally looking at the tire place, so we're like, we're good. So long as they can fix the tire or if the tire needs to replace, which hopefully it doesn't have to be, um, that they'll have a tire or can get one. Otherwise it's like a 45 minute drive to a good year. And yeah, not what we had planned today. But having the shower is making me feel more optimistic, so we'll check in with you guys later. So we got showers in, we stopped at the library, uploaded a video for you all, and I hope you like it. But um, now we're gonna go get our tire fixed, and the tire's holding up so far, so crossing our fingers that they can uh, do a solid fix on it so that we're good to roam. It's been a couple hours and we've only had to add, uh, add air once. Yeah, that's good. There she goes to get repaired. It's funny, this, uh, this truck just pulls up next to us while we're sitting here. And Liz is like, I'm thinking, ah, oh, I should get a picture of that, uh, that skull on the front of it. And Liz is like, I follow them on TikTok. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. It's, uh, okay. Go ahead. Oh, that's, um, it's Stella and Felony on TikTok. Okay, a uh, quick update. Um, the tire was not repairable. No, it had about a two inch slice in it, uh, which is why it took two of those little puncture repair things. Uh, so luckily they had a tire there and amazingly they did not charge us retail for it. They charged us uh, what they paid. Uh, so it was uh, out, out the door was 120 bucks with labor, which is not bad. I mean, I, that's a price I would expect at a Walmart, not a Napa in a small yeah. town. <laughs> yeah, but that was uh, pretty cool that Stella and Felony pulled up. Yeah. I think we're just gonna find a spot to sleep for the night and then make do with what we have grocery-wise and then carry on. Grocery-wise, but we're just gonna snack for dinner, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> We had popcorn. Liz got popcorn. <laughs> We're at camp. Uh, we are like, what, like 15, 20 miles from the last time we saw a person or anything <laughs> and maybe more miles than that before we saw a house um, and there's this thing on the ground and it shows in Google Maps too which is kind of crazy yeah Charlie thinks he might fly the drone in the morning so maybe that's where we'll see you next on the next clip in the morning so for now, good night, y'all. Bye now. Bye now. So before we go to bed, um, <laughs> this is a super volcanic area. Um, we actually uh, passed a shield volcano on the way in, um, but just on the ground here, like look at all this, this giant lava bubble. Uh, basalt. I think this is a, uh, what do they call it? It's got andesite. andesite yeah. yeah, an andesitic basalt. So. 
Whatever that means. <laughs> Work professionals. That's so cool. We're digging this spot in the middle of nowhere. I'm gonna do a close up of this basalt on my phone. Um, just so you guys can kind of appreciate it. I know basalt is so common, but it's really just this marvelous stone. It's, it's lava. Like the floor is lava, guys. The floor is lava. And check this one out, guys. It looks like a mitten. That's so cute. Well, mitten lava. That'll keep your hands hot. What's this guy doing? That's the droney baloney, if you haven't met him yet. He's so cute. Well, that was fun. That was so much fun. Don't forget to uh, like and subscribe and check us out on Patreon. And we'll see you next time. Bye now. Bye now.